the June job report came out last week, and uh, 3.7 million jobs have been created since President Trump took office in January 2017. So that's good news, right? Um, women, unemployment is at historical lows. Hispanics, unemployment is at historical lows. Black, I mean, every demographic, just about, unemployment are at historical lows under this president. So that should be uh, good news for every American, except the Democrats. Nash Pelosi and her Democrat friends said, they're you know, very unhappy about it, they said Trump's job growth is disastrous, uh, reckless, that's the word they use, reckless. And of course they used uh, as an example, which was a lie as well, that, well, it's reckless because uh, income is not going up. But that's, that's been proven a lie as well because income uh, has gone up. In fact, even Chick-fil-A uh, raised their income, uh, their pay rate, to $17 an hour to work for Chick-fil-A. So, so household income has gone up as well. But the real problem is Democrats just don't like people having jobs. They don't like it. Remember when um, unemployment was uh, going on so long that they had to extend unemployment benefits? They had to continue to extend them. And you know what Nancy Pelosi said about that? She says extended unemployment stimulates the economy. That's a good thing to keep extending unemployment benefits to, uh, to stimulate, stimulate the economy. She also said Obamacare frees people to be whatever they want to be. They don't have to work. They can be free to uh, become artists or whatever they choose because of Obamacare. Because the kids could stay on their parents' premiums uh, for until age 26. But what the problem really is, is Democrats do not like people having jobs. They would rather you be on welfare and food stamps. Um, they, got, they got mad at uh, Dr. Ben Carson, because, you know, he's the secretary of Hood. And he said he did not want poor people to become comfortable in those free houses. And he said, I don't want it to be comfortable because I want them to get up and get out of here. The Democrats said, oh, that means he hates the poor. But you notice how Democrats talk about the poor. They talk about poor people as though they're going to be in a state of poverty forever, perpetual poverty. Poverty. They don't. You notice they never provide a path out of poverty. Poverty. When they talk about poverty, the poor. It's, it's as though that's how you're going to be for your entire life, and that's what they intend. They don't intend for you to get out of poverty. So you got this president out here creating all these jobs, and that's upsetting them because who's going to? Who are they going to have uh, to depend on them? Democrats only talk about two classes of people rich and poor. You notice that. They say the rich are greedy and they're t stealing from the poor, taking from the poor. And I don't know how a rich person could take some from a poor person when the poor person doesn't have anything to begin with. But they never talk about, because that's what they want. They just want two classes of people, okay, rich and poor. Of course, they're part of the rich themselves because they've made money off of being in Congress for years, and then the poor. So what happens is, here comes President Trump, and the jobs that he created, they're not part-time jobs. They're good-paying jobs. They're construction jobs, uh, manufacturing jobs with good salaries, and that's hurting the Democrats and their agenda, which is to keep everybody on food stamps, to keep everybody on, on welfare so that they can have a dependent class. And that is exactly why they're importing these illegal aliens with low skills. You know, when President Trump made the comment, even though it was taken out of context probably, that he didn't want any more poor people with no skills coming here. Well, first of all, we have enough poor here already that we're trying to uh, rehabilitate and get into job training so that they can get some of these good paying jobs that President Trump has created. Okay, but then he said he wanted people to come here with a good education from a thriving country with a thriving economy so that when they hit the, hit the ground when they get here, they can go out and get a job or start a business. In other words, they can contribute to us. He doesn't want people more dependents, but the Democrats, because they're running out of people, 
they're running out of people to vote for them, they're going to import all of these illegals from all of these third world countries that have no skills at all. Because if then they're going to put them up in free housing, give them free food, free clothes, free everything, and then what are they going to do? Vote for them, and then they will remain in power. So I am just so thankful for President Trump and all he's doing for America and creating all these jobs for anybody that wants a job. President Trump is going to do that. And just wait until he uh, uh, unveil his um, infrastructure plan, which uh, urban renewal plan. It's coming down the pipe, and you're going to see Democrats really start fighting then. You're going to see them get, because that's really getting into their territory. Who has been running the inner city for years? Democrats. And President Trump has a plan to go into the inner cities and, and, and rebuild the infrastructure. But inside that plan, and you can go on the White House website and you can see it, is uh, he's going to have job training, uh, apprenticeship, paid apprenticeships for poor people to earn a living while they acquire the skills to take some of these good paying jobs. Because President Trump met with manufacturers and they told him that um, a lot of the jobs they can't fill because they don't have people with the skills. President Trump listened to those uh, manufacturers and he listened to, and that's why he uh, developed this new program where he's gonna, it's called Urban, Urban Renewal. He's gonna go into the inner cities, he's gonna redo, and see the jobs that he's gonna create, redoing uh, the infrastructure, he's gonna hire the people in the, in the inner city. So they have jobs. He's going to have real shovel-ready jobs, the ones that Obama claimed that he was going to do. So Democrats are upset of job growth. They say that's reckless. That, that should tell everybody right there what the Democrats' agenda is, is to keep poor people poor, or get rid of all these good jobs. That's why they're running on raising taxes. Whoever heard of they're going to raise the taxes so that people can get laid off because President Trump... Uh, cut the, the corporate tax rate from 35% to 21%. That was one, that's what caused all the job growth. So those corporations, instead of giving all that money to the government, they hire, they can hire more people. The Democrats know this, so that's why they say, they, they framed it as, oh, they're taking money from the poor by not paying all those taxes, so there won't be any uh, social services. But what they leave out is it won't be any social services because that money that they got to keep, those uh, corporations got to keep, they in turn created more jobs. So people won't need the social services. So that's upsetting the Democrats. So they said if we get back in office, we're going to raise the taxes. Now, that should tell anybody who, who has a shred of a doubt what the Democrats' agenda is. They just told you. Have a blessed day.